Hi and welcome along to the weekend roundup. Uh, we are here to talk. Well, what are we talking about? You know, I don't even want to do the weekend roundup. <laughs> no, no, let's do it. I don't even want to do the weekend roundup. It's been a fantastic week. Well, see, it's but just whatever, such it's a. Been all right. For me, it's just such an anti-climax. But listen, we're going to discuss it anyway. Join me. We've got Flex Man United, of course. AGT Liverpool. We're supposed to have Matisse, <laughs> but just like his team, right? They didn't even turn up against the flipping reserve Man City team. And Abby's on and look, there. Look at it. She, it was so bad for her where she's Miss I don't care. I don't care about... She's left the country, mate. Miss Abby... Summer holidays. Big her up. Bigger up. <laughs> Abby summer holidays. Big yeah. up Abby summer. Man. She's not here. You know, what? I'm gonna adopt that thing that she does. You know, you know, like uh, I don't care. She's going. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I've given up. I just right? got nothing. Given left. up. I don't care. Yeah. Even though I saw that shameless expression. Look at his t-shirt. Where is it? Where's is that there, t-shirt? Man. That's the man's had a, the man's had a t-shirt printed, right? <laughs> this is how much, right, Arsenal influences Spurs. This is how small a club. It is shameless. This it is, is how shameless. small a club Spurs are, right? Yeah. That They're getting t-shirts printed with me saying this in their hands. Mm. Bro, you, you did say I'm that. I know, but I'm, I'm in their, I'm in their head all season. It's worse for Tottenham fans to that, say that's it their cup. To yeah. yeah, but that's all they got. That's their trophy. That's all they got. Harry Kane scoring another World yeah. Cup. We'll get to that's it. That's what Abby they cared got about. Nothing. Yeah, got that's nothing. what she actually cared about. Well, let's start. Let's start off with. Um, well, we start off with our game. Um, I went up to the game. Honestly, you know, I had a, I had a feeling it could even be like that, even when I was before. Like, well, well, actually, no. Before the game, during the week. I said, when we was doing a preview and I was going, you know, I could see like a 1-1. One, one. And anybody who knows me, right? When I say 1-1, one, one, that you're means I'm fearing. <laughs> because I was just like, yeah, that's I'm, a just loss. like <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? It's done. You know what I mean? So are, are we going to get the right level of fight? I know that there's certain players that are definitely, you know, they said, you know, Martin Elliott out for the season, Zinchenko. I've already seen season. the writing, writing on the wall. Well, for the last few games, yeah, right? Yeah. So I was just like, and then I'm like, we're going up there. We've got nothing to play for. We're going to play Nottingham Forest. We've got absolutely everything to play for. Yeah. How's this going to pan out? But then even on the day now, I'm going up there, you know, because the sun's shining. Yeah, it's great. I'm thinking, football, all right. Get that juice. I'm thinking, like, all right, yeah, maybe, you know what I mean? Man. Maybe they might actually turn up today. They might even put in a performance, but it was poor. You know what I mean? Um, they got that early goal. Um, Forest. for them. Which basically they just parked the bus. And, I, and listen, I'm, before anybody jumps on it, I'm not blaming them in any way because I would have done the same thing. Yeah, They're yeah. in survival mode, 100%, right? Hundred percent. So do they it. parked the bus, waiting on a mistake. Odegaard made an uncharacteristic mistake by him, giving away a ball like that, like that in midfield. They pounced on it, scored. Ty Woo. I would need. Over there. I would need. Yep, right. With another goal, he scored some big goals in the running. Yep. And then after that, they just parked it up, and we couldn't break them down. And um, you got to say they they defended um, they defended brilliantly, resolutely. And I was congratulating some of their fans afterwards and saying, "Well done, man! You lot deserve to stay up because they've taken points off of us. Us. They beat you as well, didn't they? Got a draw at City. They got at a home. draw against City. Um, they the got a draw Chelsea? at Chelsea. Yeah. I mean, lost to Man United twice. Yeah, they did lose to you twice. Got to take care of them teams at the bottom. You know what I mean? Not easy. That's only because you got the goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got Kaylin Navas, mate. They got Kaylin Navas as yeah, a wicked keeper. Exactly. And I think you know, I mean, they they uh, they deserve to win, but it's just a really disappointing for me. A really disappointing end to the season for Arsenal. Like I said on here a couple of weeks ago, I didn't want us to just, even though we're not going to win it no more. I want us to just fight till the end. Don't let it peter out. And we have just made it peter out. It's yeah. Been, honestly, very, very disappointing for me. Mm. The way yeah. it's finished. Two wins in eight, I think. If anyone going into the, the crunch 10-game running predicted that, you'd, you would have called them crazy. I think it's gone from, we're going to, it's in our, again, no joke intended, <laughs> but it was in our hands. We're going to win the league to... Let's push them to the last minute. And lads, you said, just totally petered away to the point where actually... I've seen, you know, fans having a go at Odegaard in the big moments. Where is he? I'm talking about troops, to be honest. Um, I'm talking about people questioning Xhaka's fight and mentality at the end, playing at left back. Odegaard not Shouldn't turning up in the big moments. Back. So Gabriel Jesus hasn't scored enough goals. So it's gone from, it's been really, 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 really positive to now it's like there's a lot of questions being asked about yeah, the fight I'm, and resilience. I'm not, I'm not one of those people who are doing that, to be honest, because it's done, right? Yeah. I mean, I just wanted to see, you know, you've had such a great season, right? 
you've pushed City all the way, finish it off well. And that's what I didn't like about it. That's what I've not liked about the last couple of games. It's just like they've got- dropped levels. You know what I mean? Those levels that they, we... Sh- I mean, listen, earlier on in the season, if we had to beat Forrest, we would have bat- we beat Forrest 5-0 at the Emirates. I know, but away is... Right, different monster. and even away, I think if we had to, if like, if you're in your I, just, I just, but this like, is this is kind of what City fans were saying throughout the season when you guys were top was the the points that you're gaining at the start of the season are not the same as the points that you're gaining at the end of the season because the the magnitude of the game By the is way, far welcome. more important. <laughs> listen, as man, as, just as, come slide in. Yeah. As Ty would say, as Ty would say, TFL is a cheat. TFL is a disgrace. Do you know what I'm saying? But so, big up the workers and the people who work yeah, on the of course, railways. Of course, keep but them, yeah, 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 they keep our, they keep London moving. <laughs> moving, <you know>? yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, mad red signals, red 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 flares for no, us. I'm sorry, I, I jumped in on your point. So, so <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they they were just saying that you know the the points are not. They are equal, but they're not. You know, the, the the points that you gain at the end of the season are far more difficult to gain because the magnitude is 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 far greater. You know, you're playing against teams that are fighting for their lives. You're playing against teams that yep. are fighting for Europe. This is the this is the the end of the season. This is the closing of the season. So it's much more difficult. And they've kind of switched it around and and almost, you know, experimented and tinkered with, with their team throughout the season. Then when it comes to the last legs, they're ready to just push and go. You know, when it matters most. So yeah. Um, for me, I think all the banter aside, because it likes the bigger fish to fry and it's in our hand, blessing in disguise. They've all been funny things, but I think they're like, not played out now, but it's been over for Arsenal for a little bit. So let's park that, yeah? Let's just like, just deal with what's actually happened. Like, I think the, the worst thing is that Arsenal can now finish like 10 points behind City. As Gary Neville predicted. As Gary Neville predicted. I hope all them Arsenal fans who were saying he's just an Arsenal hater. I mean, you said it really well. You said, listen, he was right. He was right. At the end of the day, I know that's through gritted teeth. A lot of Arsenal fans aren't going to want to admit it. Give him his apologies. He's got his receipts there. He weren't disrespectful. He said what was going to happen. Even I thought Arsenal was going to win the league I at one point. I did as well. But when he said, what, he said exactly what would happen to this side. And that's exactly what has happened. And I think actually the sad thing about it for Arsenal fans, I saw Turkish saying the other day, it's a season to forget now. And I'm not saying that every Arsenal fan echoes that. That's his personal view. But Mm. I I, I looked at that and I thought, wow, it's it's literally turned him where he's like, he's seeing his team go out of a whimper. Like just nothing Mm. left in the tank to to potentially finish in 10 points behind, which was supposed to be one of the greatest ever title races, which obviously you've been part of a couple of those, which you've actually, we give you a lot of grief for, saying the Leany men or whatever, but you, you, the point stands. Now you realise you, the you, levels. But, but they don't, but you, yeah, they realise the levels. Because Arsenal, like I say, the thing for me, when I'm looking at it from the outside in, I'm looking at it, I go, Arsenal don't stop this whole City are just too good thing. Like, this was the year you to don't, win it. You don't, you don't, Arsenal don't get to say that after this, after the position they were in and how no, they, they threw away. They do. No, 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 wait, do. wait, wait, no, I'll tell you why I don't think they can. Because yes, of course, when they benched all them players yesterday because everyone was on the drinks because they already won the league. What did you say? 500 million on the bench? Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not saying Arsenal have that embarrassment of riches. I'm not saying Arsenal can got the same resources as City. Those things, yeah, that's fine. But when you take it down to finer margins of how Arsenal threw away the league, it wasn't to do with City's budget. Mm. It wasn't to do with City's quality. It was Arsenal's lack of quality in games that they should be winning Mm -hmm. with or without Rob Holding, with or without a tired Saka or whatever. I I I hate to keep going on about them same games, but that's not to do with City. And then then what's happened is (coughs) once they've seen that it's definitely out of their grasp, or mainly they out of their grasp, they just they've just folded. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, not let, let, let me just go back, right? I, I disagree with you a bit on that, right? Because, yes, I agree with you on, the, on the, when it's out of the grasp, it just folded, right? But where I would say that they are too good is that the run that they've gone on, I yeah. mean, I think they were, at one, I think a couple of months ago, they were third. You were either above them, weren't you? No, was we haven't been New, above them. Newcastle were above them. No. But, but, but that's only because the game's third. played throughout the whole time, though. But Arsenal, no. Arsenal were part of that run. Are we, here to, are we here to sit here and say that Arsenal 
could not have taken points against City because other teams did. Exactly. So when we talk about Man City's run, Man you, United, you guys were part Tottenham. of that. Run. Yeah, yeah. Like Liverpool, Ar- Arsenal, Arsenal had the opportunity Forest. to take points off of City and stop their momentum, but and, we put did, their, and they didn't true. do that. That's and very also, true because they're better than us. Yeah, but, but, so. but you guys, you guys got knocked out of every competition to focus on the league. When we talk about Man City's quality, they're stretching it over an FA Cup, over a, over a Champions League and, and a Premier That's League. That's what I'm saying. You guys had to focus That's on one saying. job. So I, listen, I, I never thought. And Arsenal, we still couldn't do it. Yeah. So I never thought Arsenal would win it, but I didn't expect you guys to not get to fall off like that. I thought at one stage Arsenal could win it. Yeah? I thought you get to last week. I thought Arsenal could win it, but I think, right, that when I'm, I've been doing my sort of, because it was very hard to watch that yesterday for me, mm. to watch yeah. them lifting that, it and that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't watch that bit. Right? I, find, I find it hard, but I watched it anyway, right? Fair play but to you. But I'm like, I've been trying to analyse where, where it's gone wrong, right? I can tell and you. I, and, and, and hold on. And I have to say that they are a better team than us. Like, they are a better team than us. Yeah, right? but you and could they, have fought hard. You could have what fought it is, the right? I've, I've said this before, right? It's their, uh, their ability to rotate, right? And when I say ability to rotate, and I spoke about this <laughs> um, on a show before, when I say they're... What was they? They've, fra- <laughs> they've accidentally <laughs> framed it. You, know, Jay- you can tell Jason's arrived. Jason's coming. Yeah, Jason's what, arrived. What's this? We've this yeah. already done that, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. We've already done that, right. mate. Right? Um, wow. What, it, what, what, wow. I'm saying, what I'm saying is this, right? Jeez. Is that it's that ability to rotate where you don't even have to. Yeah. That's the difference, right? Arsenal... And this is when the, there was people having a go at me, right? And I think I've been proven right on this when I was saying that, when I say that um, to concentrate on one thing, we do not got the squad. Imagine if we were still in the Europa League and that. We've not, you see, Saliba's been out. That's one player Saliba's been missing. He, we were brilliant with him defensively when he was in there, right? One player missing, the level like drops down like that. And that's the difference between us and them. Right, that they can rotate. They can say to uh, Bernardo Silva, "Yeah, take three. You know, have a rest up, man. There's some games down the line and that. Rest yeah. Chill out for a bit, bro. Yo, um, Mar is coming. Yeah, yeah but Robbie, they can say Gundogan. Cole Palmer. Yeah. You can't do yeah, that. Yeah. We can't. No, no, do no. That. I'm not saying that. You can't do that. Even the season when Liverpool won the league, if you really check it, right? They had we a had very injury-free season. Remember yeah. that. It was a very injury-free season. When, Ronaldo when, played when, every game. When you started to see a few of the, the sort of drop-offs with Liverpool yeah. was when you saw injuries, injuries to Van Dijk and yeah. you saw some of these key guys going out. All of that is agreed. I agree. Yeah, I agree so that's what I'm saying. So, so to me, I agree with you on how it's ended. I agree with you how, that there were some certain games in there yeah. that we should have won those games, that we that we fell apart in those games and we didn't yeah, that's get on the you. win. Yeah, that's on you. But... but but what I'm saying is, right, we just did not have the squad. And this is what the challenge for me now is next season, to have the squad to maintain a title challenge. And at the moment, I don't see anybody who has a squad Hold to maintain the challenge with them. Hold on. Arsenal had a January transfer window, right? They signed three players. They signed a centre-back, midfielder, striker or forward. That's the new spine. Your choice was to go with Jorginho, who maybe you haven't trusted as much in this running as you would have thought. To carry your over choice the line was to experience. go with your choice was to go with Kivior, when you had Rob Holden and you knew Rob Holden was there, a, a centre back from Serie A who's incredibly young, who was never going to be ready to play enough games, or you didn't trust him to play enough games. And Trossard got player of the month in March, so it was your Trossard choice. Did well. Yeah, so it was your so choice. You could them. so you could have bolstered your team in January for the fight, especially if you're going to focus on the league and go out of other comps. Oh, come for on, me, listen, for no, me, no, for no, me. hold on. It's too easy to say that, right? Because, for instance, right, after that, Tommy Asu gets injured. So, for, so for instance, you're looking at a position like uh, um, Saliba, yeah? Mm. You could have moved, you could have moved um, Ben White back into centre-back. Mm, but you couldn't because Tommy right? Asu was injured. And then you could have had Tommy Asu playing right Why didn't back. you just play Kivio? One second. Tommy Asu gets injured, he's out for the season, Right? Mm. Then, then now, you know what I mean, Saliba's out for the season. And all of a sudden now, you know what I mean, that strength that we've had there is not the same. Kivior was bought for the future. He wasn't really bought for That's, But for that, that was your decision. I know, but what I'm saying is they've been very unlucky with injuries, right? So that that's why really, you have to buy if, for now. If, if that would have happened then, that's what well, we could, you can go out and do a Chelsea and try hey, and Hey, listen, if you players, want to win the league, you have to start. You, you had players, a young team, but that's you added really, more youth yeah. to No, it. but that's not really viable for most teams, is it? To go out there and buy like a load of players in January 
to say you're going to... They did... They do, I think what they did in January was good business. I think it they was. did cover off areas, but they've been done by the injuries, right? Yeah. But even so, I feel the next season, you virtually... I, I'm looking at I'm saying virtually we need two players in every position, right? That's yeah. what he's shown us this year. We haven't. Right? Rob Holding, drop off to Saliba. Huge. Yeah. Right, you know what I mean, and there's certain other players in there as well. But see, the see, here's, here's one. Here's one that no, see, I don't, you don't have two players about. in each position. You yeah, bought, you bought a centre back that was left footed that could only play left side centre back that was young that wasn't ready. That was your decision. You could have bought an no, experienced. Yeah, though. but no, but you guys could have bought you guys could have bought an experienced centre back from the Premier League that plays in both centre back positions, and then when no, Tommy Asu and Silva, you could have signed. played him. You could play him. I kind of understand him a bit more than you as an Arsenal fan, right? The Kivio your signing come out of the blue, even for Arsenal fans, right? And then I was sort of told later on that actually they were going to get Kivio in the summer, yeah. but because there were some other teams sort of floating around for him, that's why they went early and got him, him now, right? He's a player for the future, right? They thought that they had enough cover there. They thought Ben White, we've got Ben White who can drop in there. If worse comes to the worst, we've got Rob Olden. Tommy Asu. Tommy Asu. Hold, hold on as well. Yeah. Tommy Asu. Can, made them bottle top four last Rob Holden. Hold, hold on. Shouldn't Tommy Asu. That. Tommy Asu can also play centre back as well. Right? So, you know. For here's, me here's, personally, here's, on. just to finish before you jump in, the moment it all came or was the start of the capitulation, you were 2 0 up at Anfield. If you'd won that game, you would have gone 11 points clear. And that altercation. And that, would us, that would have given us as well the belief. 100%. Yeah. That they mental threw, hurdle that you they, couldn't quite come over. When Xhaka and Trent had that moment, I personally think that was the domino that led to all the other things that happened after that. Because it was two draws on and a loss after that to City. Even the West Ham game. And that just shows you how important it, it is to win at Anfield. If you're going for the league, you have to win at Anfield. One, one thing that people aren't talking about with this Arsenal squad yet, because you're on the thing of just looking at what City got, like an embarrassment of riches. Well, hang on a minute. No, I'm not just looking yeah, at Yeah, I know. But I'm, I'm saying uh, that's one of the main reasons, because like, not every, not, none no, of us can do that. No, what I'm saying is that's a big reason because I don't think yeah. there's any other team fine. that would have been able to have cool. gone on a run like no, that. No, 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 that's fine. That's but fine. I'm not in any yeah. way saying that that doesn't mean that we... You're not off lack. the hook. Yeah, I agree. Okay, fine. But what I, I think we're missing here, right, if we're going to talk about this thing properly is, hang on a minute, Eddie Nketiah, yeah, is on 100 grand a week and he's the number 14. He's got Henri's number, yeah? And in the absence of Gabriel Jesus... Yeah, held down the fort to keep you in this Did title well. race. Why then, if we're saying we ain't got, can't do this, can't do that, why is he not playing games? How's he not playing games? Emil Smith Rowe's your number ten, no? Yeah, but I don't think he's fully fit. Yeah, but he's but he's, he's been out. He's, he's but he hasn't. He ha season. But none of these guys have been trusted. Reese Nelson done some bits against Bournemouth. Come and done some things. Hasn't been trusted. So there was other options there for Arteta to use. He, he didn't rely on him. He burnt Saka out. Trossard was supposed to come in and help with that. You know what? And he so, came so, in. So you know what, but I'm you know saying what you've got a guy there who's held down the fort. There's but goals you know in what? there. That's not where we lost it. Because up until um, recent games, right? Up until the last two games, we've been scoring goals for fun everywhere across that front three. It wasn't goals. It's defence. And the, 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 those problems in And the defense, big player's not showing up as well. Those that party's been off the yeah, boil. Yeah, and then he's gone oh, off the boil. And that's what I mean. Yeah. Gone off the boil probably because he needs a rest. But we can't rest him. You know what I mean? That's the difference with our team. Let me do some of these super chats. There's loads of them coming in. You like help me out with some of them as well. Yeah. LJ Brown says, um, as I've said um, to you to in SC previously, Matisse, you and Flex need to cook Robbie for the bigger fish to fry comp it. I, I don't know how much more Karen cooking there's going to be on that. Cooked, like, I literally cooked. It's actually played out. Like, now, has anybody like, yeah. ever had, right? I literally cooked. Like, no, but you deserved it. You deserved it. You deserved it. You've held the most. You've held the most. Do you know, you know what? Cooking, I used yeah. to come in here week in, week out. I didn't go over the top with my cousin, with my thing, did I? No, but because when they were sitting high, and I came in halfway through the season, didn't I? I take the break. I took it for every Arsenal fan that gave it. Every week, yeah, you were sitting pretty. And remember, I think you even said, oh, we could just be saving it for Robbie for the end of the season well, listen, it's yeah. all good. and they got nothing so <laughs> after all of the cookings all year you deserve I, the biggest one I could, mm. listen, most be, time spent on the top I've been getting mm. it for about all the not peasants I've been getting it he's cooked him you've cooked him I've been getting it for about the past three weeks and I can take I'm it I'm actually bored I don't enjoy it yeah. 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 I, I, I can <laughs> take it you know the shameless ones that expressions yeah the Spurs ones are bad who can you take it from and who can you not take it from I take it from everybody yeah. I take it from everybody, man. I mean, I'm. But I'm Spurs I'm, fans, it must hurt a little bit more. Nah, not really, because I know their clubs <laughs> in the mud. So, <laughs> you know. 
you know, I, t- I, I, love it, love. I take it from everybody, to be honest, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to be able to take it, man. Cecil, Cecil, take Cecil really is escaping, so, I can't lie. You know? Cecil. Yeah, Cecil, uh, wait, Cecil, Cecil is... Cecil is escaping. He's disgusting. His t-shirt's <laughs> in the coffin over there. Cecil's disgusting. Like, he, I've taken it for him too. <laughs> yeah, you have. No, and actually, I told you, you have to take the me. flack of a lot of Wallies. He owes you a bit of an apology, actually. Yeah, he does. I took it, man. I took it. It's all good. LJ Brown also says, oh, yeah, poor White Yardy and Yardman probably had a stroke here in... Uh, this bubbles aero with the Michelin tires on the back of his head. Say that. <laughs> Bloody hell, he's about tearing into me, man. No, I love it, man. A little yo yo says, Robbie, Robbie man. Come on. what's your favourite fish? Make sure it's a big one to fry. Well, what's your club? <laughs> oh. Name your clubs when you're sending these things as well, because there's clubs Put your medals that are on way table, worse than it? us here. <laughs> that are so. That's another thing, you know. I said this the other day that we're now. We're now, have your fun and everything to begin with, you know. <laughs> have your fun. Say that no, we're no, back. No, no, no. Say about, that we're back. <laughs> so I said this to Expressions and KG last week. I said, have your fun and everything now. But then you need to then start thinking about your clubs. Where are you at? What are you doing? Especially Tottenham. Tottenham are eighth in Tottenham the league right Tottenham, now. I mean, Jesus. they are horrendous. Oh, my God. About to lose Harry Kane. Why no, he'll probably just stay, to be honest. If he stays, he's got no <laughs> ambition, man. Uh, Entre Elite says, um, Aaron Ramsdale coming out with saying he, we didn't bottle it. Um, we're going to be come back stronger um, oh. if we don't acknowledge what what's happened. What is this, Peter Crouch's podcast um, or something? <laughs> and Ika MCFC says, Championis, Championis, all that, walking more teaser. Uh, did you see... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me give a little dig at City as well. Yes, yeah, right? I'm, I'm here for that as well. Yeah, man. Why not? What you got? When I saw, I was watching their thing yesterday, right? watching the game. I'm like, yo, just won the league, man. It's a dead atmosphere. And I was watching it on TV. I'm just not being a hater now, didn't you think? I didn't have the volume. I on. mean, afterwards. I didn't watch it. Obviously, <laughs> afterwards, once, you know, the presentations and all that. Mm. But before that, I was like. Listen, you can try and act like a big club, but unless you've got the gravitas that comes with being a big club, having that worldwide fan base, you will only have 200 people turning up at the bus arrival. You will want Man United, I mean, I don't Chelsea, know if that was Arsenal, a bit... Liverpool. You, you oh, will have the streets lined. Yeah, the whole, people. the whole, the whole city's lock off. Look, there was probably four, five hundred people tops there. Like, but city come fans, on, man. but because because their club is a small, like newer club, they their fans don't care. Like when you say to, like, you talk to Big Steve or you speak to Kennedy. Like, you know, them, like Steve McInerney. I think they do, they all do them, care underneath. No, I don't think they do. Like, because, because they're at the top and they're just shitting on everyone, <clears throat> really, innit? Everyone's hating on them. They love it. They but, actually love it. They don't care. They like, do have a core it, fan base. Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. But it's not a big fan base. And I don't think that's necessarily a but shot you know at what? City. What, one because thing, it's just, one truth. Thing it's just is, the truth. Yeah. You did say a true thing. I was watching a watch along the other day and I, I agree with that when you said that they're building a fan base, though. Like in the next mm. ten years, maybe yeah. in the next ten years, because you know, we'll a lot of young, you know, when you win everything, when yeah. you've got the best player in the league in Haaland and that, the kids are not going to that's school. Right. And want to start but that's to why school. right now, and I know this ain't just salty because I'm a Man United fan. That's why right now, in like in context of world football, they, they can't be bigger than Man United. Like we've got mm. 13 Premier League titles. What's Pep's going to win five now? And how many did they get before that? What's that? Seven. One before, maybe. One before. Like, what did they get with maybe uh, two I think before. Uh, no, two before. Got, that. So what they got seven now. I think Pellegrini so. won one. Yeah, and, and Mancini um, won one. Yeah, Mancini. Yeah, Mancini, yeah, won, Mancini yeah, won one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, what's that? So they got seven leagues. Yeah, mm. Man United got thirteen. Now, obviously, no. You could say your real number. You've got twenty, bro. If we're talking well, like, football, yeah, but Premier, start, yeah, I know, yeah, but, but come on, man. well, you put can your, do that. But I'm, I'm even, no, but I'm even, yeah, but I'm even giving them just the, the Premier League era. Yeah? I think it's twenty. You've of won course, twenty, 20 leagues, Okay, well, twenty I know titles. You, yeah. I know you definitely want to have. No, because yeah. I'm not. It's, it's yeah. I've won yeah. nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. You're the yeah. Liverpool man just trying. It makes sense that you would want, man. You didn't just come around. Listen, you didn't just come around in COVID season, mate. Back in the eighties, before I was even born, we've been doing this. I was wondering why is he trying to prop up Man United? It's because he's trying to prop up himself. That's what it is. No, bro. Just clocked it. <laughs> Let your nuts hang. Yeah, you got 20, yeah, yeah. bro. Not He's like, no, nah, football started before that, man. Louder yeah. FA Club. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're telling Ian Rush he only scored 40 We see, we see what you're doing. We yeah, see what you're doing. Scored we scored No, but my, point, but my point is this, though, yeah, is that they've got so long to go before they surpass... You know what I mean? And that's not so, a shot. No, it's not a shot. It's just a... Like, how I'm many leagues have Arsenal got? Ty, how many have they got? 13. All, like, because I know you... I mean... 13. But they've only got three players. Even Everton have got eight? Yeah. 
but it's getting a bit but what's a bit crazy though it does get a bit you. crazy when you start going when you start going real f far back when you're like yeah when Everton used to win things then Manu and Relegate like yeah, but they're putting Dixie Dean ahead of yeah, Harlan yeah, so yeah, we've but, got to include you know, you know what they're doing <laughs> you know what I mean you see the graphic Listen, yesterday it's a bit crazy when you look at 1928 you know if they do if they do four in a row next year no one's ever done that yeah you know what they're doing yeah. they're winning every year we must they're rewriting the news and they've got the best players and they've got the exciting players and they're the best manager but hang on the best manager so just to say yes that's everything you said is true however they are being investigated for cheating 115 times which ain't that, which, ha which, which yeah. that has to count for Jack, something. You know the squat. Is, they've got the best lawyers too. Exactly. Means but let's not forget, forget they've, they've, already they've already been banned nothing. from Europe for two years and they paid that off. Yeah. So and there, has, the same again. there has to be some kind of integrity of the game here. We can incredibly laud them as we should do. Best manager, best players, all of that. I agree. How can I deny that? They are incredible when you watch them. But... Mm. There is a massive shadow hanging over. City for Life says we've won nine, not seven. So what did, what did, did they win one like back in the time? Like in the I think days, maybe fifties so. or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Division know. I didn't one, even oh, know what they've got. Move them. on to some other games. Black Wolf says Don Robbie, <laughs> Arsenal, bottle in it. Got to be the greatest mm. collapse since the Soviet Union. Oh. And tell Flex, I don't want to hear that. Soviet, no you know. trash talk or Winston Churchill speech for the United FA Cup final. You got to do a speech like that outside Wembley, Flex. Back your team. There could be something cooking. The pipeline, Wembley way settings. It's a one-off game. You never know, Ricky. Proctor says, uh, question for AGT, Arsenal fan here. Liverpool didn't let City uh, off until the last minute of the last game. Would you even call this season a title run? It's still been a title run because they were eight run. points clear, guys. Let's not forget that. Arsenal run. did show yeah, their them quality. It just ended with a stage. whimper. Ended it's, with a whimper. It's, it's a one-man yeah. race at the end of it. Philip H to. says, as a Newcastle fan, next season will be a measure of this season for Arsenal. Trust me. Um, it's worse if they don't um, grow more from this, uh, LFC comes second next year, in my opinion. Who knows, man? Why are people writing off, saying like almost like he's some fluke? Weren't a fluke this year with Arsenal. They played well. They had a very good side, starting eleven. If they strengthen, which which they are gonna, you know, Stan Kroenke's gonna apparently he's gonna get his checkbook out big time. You know what? I was looking at the other day, right? All these teams are starting to You're do right. Yeah. Denver yeah. Nuggets as well. Denver Nuggets basketball team, yeah, right? Yeah. On the verge of the NBA. How do you finals. feel about that? LA Rams won the uh, Super Bowl. If they're all and if LA they're Rams were runners up course. first, and then they won the Super Bowl the mm. year after. You know what I mean? His ice hockey team won the um, Stanley won the Cup. Stanley Cup last year. What are you saying? He's spending now. You know what I mean? He's spending. Oh, up know. to Arsenal to keep up with the rest of the <laughs> now, now we're going, now we're going to other there? sports. And then there's Arsenal. Listen, we, we, my, my, be... my owner, the LA Dodgers, I think they've done very well as well. And then now I'm, I'm no, seeing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 no, so, By the way, I've um, got a message from Abby to read out. Dr. Shuban. All right, we get to that one. We'll when do, you're ready. Let's yeah. do Abby's message. Let's do Dr. Shuban says, Hi, everyone. Big fan of DR Sports. Love the content. Absolutely. Just want to ask one question. Why is there no cricket content? On DR Sports, it's plus the IPL up, yeah. is going on right now. Second most valuable league in the world. We have been considering it. And um, it's just that the cricket is quite a long... But T20, event. though. Even T20 is quite a long... But we are We are looking at, especially like the last uh, couple of games, you know, like the final, semi-finals of the yeah, IPL. I that, love man. cricket, by the way. Yeah, me and um, Robbie have had cricket chats um, before. Jordan says, uh, Arsenal bottled it sadly. Next season, the big boys, Man United, will make the title charge. They said that this season, actually. Battle of the Bald. Uh, DG uh, TEI says, Robbie, please stop this. As a City fan, you have to be professional, no matter what the circumstances. <laughs> caps He's doing it all in caps, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The players um, of your need to be held accountable, whether you like it or not, the injury and depth excuses needs to stop. Now, maybe you need to be held accountable and reveal... <laughs> All your financial records for the life. That's a good shot. <laughs> Giuseppe Jones That's says, a good shot. was criminal taking Eddie out when he was cooking? Osin Yandias says, uh, oh, sorry, there's no chat with it. Arsenal relied on luck a lot and it ran out. What luck, says Liberty. What luck? Come on, man. We put in some unbelievable performances um, this season. It wasn't luck. Uh, Robbie mm. likes battered fish, says Mal. It's not bad. I do like it. No man says, uh, name your club. Uh, Sorry, Ruby Tyre. Huh? What? Um, DJ TEI again says, and to, the top, and to top it off, you were on top for 93% of the season. I repeat, 93% of the season. No excuses. Name your club. Where were you during that season? Because, yeah, we were on top. Where were you? What challenge did you make? Your I think club. he's a City fan. 
because he said to come. He's a City fan. Chat, so. How long have you supported? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, yeah, it's that, got to change. That's the second question you asked. <laughs> so he said a super chat. I think he was the guy that put the caps lock just before, and he oh, said okay. he was a City fan. Okay. All right. The Joker says, uh, one fish, one, one fish. One pound fish. Come on, ladies. Come on, ladies. <laughs> Fuad Ali says, the bigger fish to fry stuff is wrong. Saliba and Tommy both got injured in the Europa League. Um, if we won that game, we definitely would have had more injuries. And that's what I said. People forget that. It was in the Europa League game that those two players got, um, got injured. We did not have enough that was a bad to sustain game that, guys, even though really. we didn't have enough anyway. But it would have been even worse that with that. a sporting game? Uh, yeah, Bitter Red. Bad game that was. Bitter Red Devil says, sacrifice cup competitions for what? To end up with nothing. <clears throat> Did also have a better season than United, who finished uh, top four plus a trophy. I think, yes. I think if... if they I win said the this to already. They win the FA Cup, they had a better season. If it's just the Europa League... And then you've got to analyse the season as a whole. You can't just do it off the last And it would be games. United. 100%. I think the way that the Arsenal just capitulated near the end, mate, if we get a Carabao Cup on, and get a point against you, yeah. we've had a better season, you finish mate. On 81 Forget points. the FA Cup, just no, in general. No, you need if, to if win you finish the FA on, Cup. If you, if you finish on 81 points, I'm not taking your season over, over United. No. No way. You, you Cause, cause, to, no, because you've got to think You're going to finish think potentially of how, 10 think of, points off. Like, what's the point? Also, also as well, yeah, think of how the two fan bases feel about... Like how they feel emotionally after the end of the season. We're disappointed Us, with, with we're, the title. You, yeah, you lot are like flipping yeah, neck, man. No, 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 no. Nothing. Hold on, hold on. Fizzled no out. Flicks, no flicks. Fizzled out. Right. You Turkish would, saying season to forget. Yeah, I'd right. rather take the That's cup Turkish. than take nothing. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying this. I'm saying this. I chatted to David Seaman. He said it's not a season to forget. He says it's been a great season. We put in a title challenge. We didn't do it. You were nowhere near a title challenge. You lot laughed at time. I don't think that's a great season. It's not a great season. It's not a great season. It's a great season. So? And, for, and, you, and at the start of the season, you spent a hell of a lot of money to make a title challenge. You, right. don't, you don't get anything but for you challenge. Don't and get any, you, and no one, no one, at the start no one, of the season, no one remembers. You, spent you don't a lot get of money. anything no, for challenge. Wait a minute, you've got to exactly. be real. You, you don't. Can't, you, can't it, just exclude, you, don't. you can't just exclude your clubs out of the argument. You spent billions. You've got to hold some corn as well. Right. I don't care, You finished to make a title challenge. We ain't even got Chelsea yet. We ain't even got Chelsea Anyway, we're going to get there. We ain't even got there yet. Let's get there. Let me read out his message out, though. Yeah, I was, you know, I was just trying to get through the nah, super. get through the super. Let me just get fly through, fly through. Um, Jonah LCFC, well. uh, I think he's a Leicester fan. He says, LC, you bottled the title. We bottled it. We bottled as a club. I thought he was going to tear into me. I was going to say, Leicester, <laughs> yeah, behave. They're going down, uh, mate. Yeah, I think Worry they're going down. Worry about the says, uh, uh, CFC won't get 50 points. But Matisse, that's he's facts, though. But Matisse is giving that's advice. Facts, though. <laughs> worst Hayden. finish ever in the play. Let me just repeat that don't again. Sorry, 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 sorry. The Chelsea hold won't. Let me hold repeat that. Chelsea hold won't get fifty yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold points. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But Matisse is giving <laughs> advice. The last, the last I'll repeat it a third time. Robbie, Robbie, I want you to Chelsea won't uh, get Matisse. Robbie, I want you to hold it a bit. No, no, I want Robbie to ask these. I never said it. I want you to ask these simple questions. Who is the last team in the London to win the Premier League? No, 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 no. No, answer the question. In the London. Answer the question. The London. Answer the question. Who is the last team in London to win the Premier League? You were. Who's the last team in London to win Champions League? You were. Who's the last team in London to win Europa League? You were. Right then. Yeah, but you're right sounding then. like so a Liverpool fan. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You're sounding like me before we won the league. No, no, no. Yes, you, you are That's a disgusting. massive culprit of challenging and second place. That's disgusting. And this is, needs to be rewarded. You're 12, listen to, I know, I don't care. 12. Because listen to me. Their best ever season. Oh, their, their best season. You're not going to get 50 points. That is a disgrace, And guess what? Matthew. You're in not going to get 50 Flex, points. Guess what? In August, no, man, the table no. resets back to zero points. No. Guess what? It's all gone. It's no, all gone. No, nah, no, you've got to hold it, bro. You guys, you your, best, time, your best Matthew. season in a decade, and you've won the same amount of trophies See, as us. It, right? when, you've won the when, same amount of trophies as us. You have nothing to show for it. You are now doing what Tottenham fans are doing. You have nothing to show for it. This is the first time I've seen you rattled. No, it's not rattled, it's facts. Hold on. You've got nothing to show for it. You're using Arsenal. Still not winning the league to mask a disgusting. I'm not masking season. it. It has been a disgusting and, season. And I'd say I was looking. But the season's at, over. I was looking at the. I was looking it's at the table. Yet. It's done. It's I was not, looking at the table the other day, right? And I say pound for pound, <laughs> Chelsea have been the That's worst fine. team. That's fine. It's true. Hundred percent. Mm. Pound for pound, Chelsea <laughs> yes. have been the worst Facts. team in European yes. football. Not even just the Premier League. Cool. But you European can't say you don't football. care. No, no, I... I listen, Why did so many no, 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 no,
Lakers season was horrendous. The season was disgusting. But at the end of the day, in August, it all goes back to zero. That's all I'm telling you. Well, you better you. hope that and, you, and at you the end of the day, the you didn't win anything. There's nothing for you to pick up and, and throw in my face and say, oh my God, Matisse, look at this. Look what we've done. What are you holding? There's hold nothing on. there. They're holding stability, though. Corn. That's what they're, they're holding. They're, they're, yeah, but hold yeah, on. Stability. Hold yeah. hold they are holding stability. Hold it's not a trophy. No, just, you got just, just, just on all of what you just said, there's 600 million pounds to not qualify, not win the league, not qualify for the Champions League, not qualify for the Europa League, not qualify for even the nation. Nothing. The, conference. The, the conference league and not even to get 50 points. I don't want to be in the conference and league. And what you're trying to do is mask it Toto. by talking about Arsenal. I'm not masking it, but... When right, you but anyway, let me do these last few, a few ones. So you've got to be able to take cooking. Man. I'm not masking it. Mohamed A says, uh, give AGT some tissues. For what? Why? What are you giving you tissues for? <laughs> um... Alex, just leave us be. Who? Says DJ. I think he's the City oh, fan. Listen, uh, you guys been following the Bundesliga. I was watching, actually. Uh, Big up that, Dortmund, man. The, the real title race there. Um, down to the last day. One more win, and they're done I it. I think they're going to, yeah, Dortmund win man, their last right, game. That'll be good the, to see. And that'll be, the, they'll be stopping by for winning it first time in 11 Ten, years. Yeah. 11 straight <laughs> That's, that's this is how this league team. we might be like that here <laughs> Tumultuous Inside uh, says to be fair City are building their true legacy in history are, right now I'm backing Pep and City hierarchy to bury those 100 plus charges once and for all well let's play lawyers <laughs> just um, Armin says off topic but thoughts on the racism Vinicius Junior we'll speak about suffered. that we'll end. talk about that later on Wave says uh, Flex please pretend to be Ty and roast Robbie <laughs> Ricky Proctor says Flex yes United would have had a better size season on comparison, but after four FA Cups in nine years, not many <laughs> Arsenal fans would swap this season with United. Massam says uh, Matic. <laughs> he's I trying to spell Matisse. Matisse is a, <laughs> Jesus he's a single guy giving relationship advice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get the I get the comparison. And L Shifty <laughs> says uh, these opinions are recorded. Look back at AFTV's thoughts on their squad after January. Tired of this squad isn't good enough. At that time, but, but you, listen, come mm. on, you can get injuries in key areas, mm. right? I, I like the players that we brought in. I didn't know that Tommy Asu to injure, and Tommy Asu Saliba were going to be out for the whole season. Are you? Are, you, are we all just going to sit here and listen right? to this? They, Tommy Asu doesn't anyway, even start. Let's read and Abby's message. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Abby's message. <laughs> right. No, but Tommy Asu is a key player he's in a the squad. Player. Doesn't matter. No, he's not a bench player. He's a rotation <laughs> player, isn't it? You get one like what City have, where they can rotate players. But you can bring him in if a player's injured and it's not a big drop off. You should know about that. One your game so a big. week and you're your squad's so big. Tommy Asu. What are you gonna do? <laughs> One game a week and you're talking about Tommy Asu to me. They got a There's squad no that way. can. You got a squad that can fought, fight on four fronts <laughs> and Lex here in one competition. Listen. <laughs> right. No, yeah, it's Abby's right. message. Abby's message. So Abby has sent in a, a lovely essay, I have to say, this morning. An she essay. says, uh, good morning, beautiful people. It's been a truly terrible season for me, filled with oh, dread, yeah. Not panic, over yet. Got one and message. pain, <laughs> even without Spurs one involved. Line. But seeing Arsenal bottle the league after 247 days at the top, capitulate the lead against West Ham, Southampton, Forest and Liverpool. Um, and to know that ultimately this is the biggest bottle of all time is truly wonderful and it fills me with joy. I know what Spurs are. I know we are the OG bottlers, but Arsenal are right up there. You played lovely football up until February, March, but a season is nine months long and you don't get a trophy for being second. Congratulations on trying your fish, though. It's well and truly cooked. Love you guys. See you Monday. P.S. Hold that. We love you, Abby, but as I said... When I'm starting to think, the more and more I think as weeks have gone by, Tottenham fans in particular in no shameless. position. Totally shameless. I remember on, when we did the, the Best of Enemies, right? Horrendous. Um, and they held up that, they, they had a Cecil's t shirt mm. and expressions laughing his head off about it. And I said, Yo, where are you on that t shirt, by the way? And you couldn't even see him. <laughs> They're in the top four at that stage, mm. right? And where are they now? Eighth place. I couldn't and believe they, how far they... Just they have there. had a horrendous, horrendous season. Mm. They have had a horrendous... I mean, Tottenham this season, of, um, they've lost 14 games. <sighs> they're, 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 Honestly, they're, they're that's almost pathetic. half. Tottenham and let's talk, about, let's talk about them quickly before we... I mean, right, but, you know, wow. at home, at the weekend... Howler. They're for, obviously, you know, the instructions is to try and get into those, you know, Europa League players. Because for these clubs, it's a lot of money. Lost if you're not in Europe, right? Yeah. 
And if you're going to keep hold of even, say, Harry Kane, surely you've got to have like a Europa League to try and hold on to him. And beaten, went 1-0 up and then beaten 3-1 at home um, by a Brentford team that doesn't even have Ivan Tony. And they've got the cheek to be, you know. Um, <laughs> It's a great free kick from, from Kane. I have to say they've obviously been watching Salah and Trent take free kicks. It's the exact same. Everything's got to be Liverpool, kick. isn't it? All, no, all everything. The time. Did you watch the goal? All, yeah, all I saw the goal. It was a great goal by Kane. I don't know why. I don't know why Trent's involved in this. No, I'm it's just saying. Goal. It was a great, <laughs> great said, goal by I Kane. Said, it was Who? a great free AGT kick. special in Liverpool. Always find a way. Anfield AGT again. Like they've been the bench part. Where are they? What are Liverpool doing? They're in fifth with 66 points, having played a game more. We'll get to Liverpool actually. We'll get. We'll but what, what I'm saying is, right, do, do, you, do, you look at, do you look at the Tottenham thing now Idiot. and say to yourself, <laughs> Plums. watch back, you know on the Tottenham thing, watch back that Conte interview. He was right, he was spitting facts. Like everything he said was right. And we said it at the time he's right. We said at the time, we said everything he said at that moment, he's right, <laughs> he just wanted to get sacked. And after saying that, you have to get sacked. So he played his trump card like from early from early from yeah so is, there, is yeah. there is there a problem within because i, I you know they're, they're yes. all saying saying daniel levy right but i'm looking at that team that's out there it's crap right? and there's there, but there's some good players in there no 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 Richarlison, Tottenham fans tell me 60 million pounds did you see goal. did you see oliver skip yesterday <laughs> did, you, did you see him give away the ball <laughs> they're telling me he's, he's good he could pay for england he, they got a bag of crap players. And again, I say it, I said it before, I'll say it again. When I look at that Spurs team, I said it earlier in the season when they was in near around the top four. I was like, look at their players, man for man, player for player, look at them. I'm like, they are around seventh or eighth best. No, like, no, I don't they, who, who in their team would you have in yours? Kane? Yeah, apart from Kane and, and you Son, that's like Son. Son's like thing. You probably have many. Son. Richarlison is not a bad player. You wouldn't, he's, no, you he's, wouldn't, he's not he's a bad player, he's shit. Season. You wouldn't have him. You <laughs> wouldn't have him. We you wouldn't, take, have, him. Take you wouldn't um, have him. Um, Kulisevsky done good last year. one goal. Ain't done nothing this yeah. year. For 60 mil, no way. Yeah, I don't like, want him. at the beginning of the season, yeah, Kulisevsky, you would have said you would have taken Basuma. The whole defence goalkeeper is a shout. You wouldn't have none of them. Maybe Benton Kors. all right, keeps it ticking over, he's okay. Kulisevsky, maybe. Hoiberg runs around, hard man, got the arms up. Yeah, crap, mate. Benton Paul Kane, Kulaseski, and Son's declining. They all Sergio so, um, what's what's Romero's the, won the Romero? World Cup. He's supposed to be amazing, Too he's average, so overrated. You got a good, they had a Cunha playing in that, that. He's won the World Cup. Does that mean he's amazing? You can play in a World Cup squad and be part of an amazing yeah, squad. Flex, yeah, but they're they're squad, crap. Their squad's better. They're than, they're their squad's a bit, but what? Better than, better than Liverpool's? Is it better than Liverpool's? No, but hold on. He's better than Brentford. He's better than Brighton. Well, they're above Brentford. Huh? They're above Brentford. Do you know what? Brighton have got a lot of a lot of players. Look at Villa. Look at Villa's team. Now. Look at yeah. Villa's team. Look at Lewis Dunn. Jacob Ramsey, flipping Buendia, Oli Watk. Yeah, but you would say that and now they've got a better manager. They're you, better than they're better than Spurs. You would say Lewis Dunk walks into Tottenham's team. Lewis, Louis, Levi Cole walks into their team. The, goal, the goalkeeper walks into their team. Yeah. McAllister, Caicedo walk into that yeah. team. Ferguson. Matoma, Matoma walks, into walks that in. Team. Evan and, Ferguson would walk in. And, and I'm taking Estepunan <laughs> over. Um, 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 Estepunan. Estepunan, yes. Yeah. Um, over Perisic. So, yeah, a lot so of So that's over half their team. I'm not going to lie. A lot we, of their players. He's just walk named in. the Brighton squad and gone, I'll tell you what, mate. I don't I love think them they're, 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 they're as bad as what we've seen. They are. Who's good? No, no, I think. Apart from the main man, who's good, Robbie? I think there's something in there, right? When Where? No, no, hold on. When Conte, the water. <laughs> when Conte is saying, right, that it's the players, their mindset and all that, there's something in there. Is it when he it's was pushing thing. them hard that they're going to Levy and saying, yeah, listen, man, we can't take this no more, get him out kind of thing or whatever? Because even managers go there and... F yeah. Like, look what Mourinho's doing now with Roma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look how well he's doing with Roma. Mm. We're probably not as good yeah. a players. But, so but here's the thing, though. That's another thing of why they're crap. Not only are they crap, they ain't even got any heart. They're crap professionals. They're crap. Like, I, there's no... I look at that Spurs side. I'm not surprised they're when doing this shit. When it comes down to it, the word crap, crap. is not an uh, overstatement. Like, honestly, that t don't get this twisted. Antonio Conte also stayed there for a certain amount of time and realised they're crap. What is... Th I don't want the my players. name associated Where are the players? He the said... Player. He the, the players. players. Go on, do that. Excuse, excuse, it's fine. You can't do that. Do that. He's like, he gone, he gone flipping it. We need to, we need to get out of here. And Hunter, even Stellini did. And Hunter is trapped. Come on, man. Uh, Kane, 
And Hunter is trapped says Kane scoring 28 goals in the Premier League is crazy in this team. Oh. And this is what what's I say gonna, to Man United fans. Do? What's what's he gonna do? There's some Man United fans on a show even today. No flex, not Kane. Not Kane, you know, mad. What? Bro, there's some no, Man think, United fans who don't. Kane is a walking 25. 25 got 25 machine minimum yeah. minimum that's what you need in a crap team like Spurs to put them on his back and even make Spurs relevant like and in all these crap games they've been playing away at Newcastle he gets 5 nil down he's like listen I'm doing my team yeah I'm getting yeah. a goal you lot do what you want to do <laughs> Kulisevsky I tell you what just give me a little back roll let me just put this in the top bin let me get my goal yeah you lot can do what you want to do after that he's saying in football win your battles he always wins he always yeah, he wins does, his battles and obviously I know he you does. can say if it wasn't for Haaland and stuff because Haaland's just at the perfect team in the perfect system where he's going to score a million goals yeah but Kane it's not getting respect he deserves because he plays for them. Mm. Uh, they yeah, they, they even true. try and he say- He needs to respect himself they, and, and, a bit more though. Uh, 100%, yeah, sure, yeah, it's up to him. Sure. I'm, look, he, we don't know what motivates Kane. Uh, up to this point in his career, it shows us that it ain't, that well, it's it ain't gonna be, It's gonna be interesting this and summer we'll see because now. I think it's gonna be one or two things. Either he maybe might stay and just wait because at the end of the season, his contracts, in the next season, his contract will be up. He'll be able to go where he wants then. Or they cash in, you know, or they cash in. Look, United fan there says, look, look, flex with this Kane agenda. Please stop. An agenda that he's as good as Lewandowski Honestly, and think as good be, as Benzema. I and, think he'd be perfect. Because he's dirty. Like, it's crazy. No, they're I've, saying that, like, this positive. Some Man United fans say, stop trying to push this Kane thing. I'm sorry, we've got Val Vecors, mate. Kane, Kane we've got be, Martial. Kane would be per perfect. <laughs> what are you talking Madrid? about? Kane would be perfect <laughs> at Real Madrid. You look at Real Madrid Mad. and you look at Benzema's performances in the Champions uh, League in the, in the semi finals. He seems like he's either tired, he's aging, or he's going out on a little bit of a whimper. He's obviously, what, 34 now. Mm. You put Kane in that Real Madrid team with Vinicius and Rodrigo either side. Cooking. But he plays the Spurs, he's got a job. He wouldn't be able Cooking. to score. I know, Simple but he wouldn't be able to score. No, he, he cooks. He, he, he's a bottle job. He would. He would. Mad. Cook. Man's put right. out 25 plus numbers. Unbelievable. Last yeah. Unbelievable player. Liverpool won, Aston Villa won. Yeah. The end of, um, well, not mathematically, because Firmino <laughs> it is the uh, end, got a goal right at the end that keeps it alive mathematically, but that was a very disappointing performance by Liverpool when you think that, you know, they could have took it right toward the end. Hold on, I mean, we're talking about Arsenal here. No, well, Liverpool. You could have took it to the end too. But Seven that, was, that, that, a was a bit, that was a bit disappointing. Uh, I expected you guys to beat Me Villa. too. I mean, you well, know. Seven wins in a row. Listen, you cannot <laughs> back to no one. You've barely won seven all season, mate. So don't worry about seven wins in a row. How many have I've heard, they this, I've heard won? this so many times. I don't know. Let me, this let is me... the Liverpool section. It's yeah, short time. On, and I'm going to have my say afterwards. All right. So, yes, we say goodbye to this beautiful man. Thank you once and more. Some nice boots, by the We've way. shouted out Adidas so many times this weekend, but I'll do it once more. These are the custom made one of nine. Um, Bobby Firmino, last ever boots he, he's going to wear at Anfield. Got the Brazil flag. It's beautiful, man. Nice, and, and he is genuinely one of my favourite players ever. Again, he did, he did his job. Scored his goal. Scored his goal. But the first half, Robbie, was disgraceful from he Liverpool. He missed the penalty the as XG well, didn't he? was 0 0.1. I'm not an XG man, but I think theirs was two and ours was 0 0.19 first half. I barely remember us having a shot. Lucky not to be 2-0 down at halftime. 3-0, mm. potentially, with Watkins missing that pen. Uh, and then the second half, there was a, something... There was a bit more. The two massive standout points that I definitely don't agree with, that was a red card by Tyrone Mings on Cody Gakpo. When you see the boot marks all over high. his chest, it was high, we it? can say he was going for the ball, but the follow-through in, in the chest area, we've seen players get red cards for that this season. So that has to be a red. And I agree with the BT Sport final score panel. I agree with the match of the day panel that all said the offside shouldn't have happened because uh, the ball gets played from the Villa player deliberately to Virgil, who gives it to Canate, a little scruffle, and then Gakpo puts it in. We should have won that 2-1. But again, I can't excuse the, um, the lack of fight in the first half, which is why we've drawn the game. And, you know, Firmino gets his goal. Beautiful moment for him. And I've said on the last three or four of these shows that I still expected them and Newcastle to get top four. The fact that we even push so hard to right up till the end is, is a good sign going into next season because it shows the people that were doubting us that we can put five wins, six wins, seven wins together. Um, but listen, Milner going, Ox going, Cater going, and my hero, Bobby, um, it's the new era for Liverpool next season. So listen, you were in the Europa League, you were in it as well. You didn't win it, you didn't win it either. So the final's in Dublin. 
Let's go for it, boys. Yeah. Slain chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go for it, boys. All right, can we get some... Just we like... want to get out to 1,000 likes, by the way. We've got 590 <laughs> likes. If you want to hear um, what Flex and Matisse have to say in response to <laughs> that rallying cry there by um, AGT, really let's get it up to 1,000 likes. So, so this right, is, as I say, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby Firmino. Bobby yeah, Firmino. Legend, man. Uh, Don't touch them for too long, though. Cute. Obviously. Cute for Bobby Firmino to have a, a nice testimonial um, on, on Saturday. So that's what it was. How does it go? Si, senor. Liverpool, Liverpool not getting in top four. <laughs> si, the lyrics are actually inside yeah, the shoe there. Yeah, lovely. So yeah, say it's that. all cute. It's Disrespect beautiful. Is. One of nine. Lovely. Um, I had to sit here on this very show um, and take my well, hits. Hold on. Yeah. Well, I just thought of a funny joke. Go on. Uh, it's one of nine, but it's not one of four. <laughs> <laughs> or one of seven. Man. Oh yeah. No, um, on, I had to boy. sit here. I had to sit here on this on this show um, <laughs> after a humiliating record breaking. Seven you know, now. will go in down as histories. You could have done a Cecil and printed a T-shirt if you want, and remember that. I'm moment not that shameless. Forever, exactly. Uh, and I sat here and I said, nobody worry. That's fine. It's embarrassing now. But what will happen is we will finish in the top four. And As Liverpool, I agree uh, with yeah, you. and yeah, this is just to all Liverpool fans who. Is this to me, uh, by the way? Uh, and some of the people on your channel, because I saw a couple of lads uh, after Man, like you. Rory. Uh, We're going to win the quadruple, yeah, lad. Uh, no, it wasn't. That. I think it was. Uh, Mario. You know, they're Man United. They're, they're going to bottle it, lads. We'll catch them. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, we, we did lose against Man Brighton Capson and all on that. The TV, yeah. And then he was like, yeah, you know, oh, we're going to do it, lads. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's cute. You've had your little testimonial for Bobby. He's gone. You're not in the top four. You've got the seven up trophy in the cabinet. You can, uh, uh, is there going to be an open top for that as well? We, we beat Man United 7 0. Listen, man. You know, we talk about who will want to trade four. seasons and stuff like that. Who are you aiming Listen, these shots at? I'm say, aiming say, it. Put a name I'm, on the end of it. I'm aiming it. I'm, well, I'm, you're here, so obviously you've got to hold that <laughs> because all of, these, all of these things are the 7 0 and all that. I wouldn't change, I wouldn't change it I for the world. I didn't go on about that. I wouldn't for change too it. Because be Liverpool fans, Liverpool fans at that moment, all started piling in. As they should great. do. Yeah, You've never lost. No, 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 no. That's a not massive about, Not about the result. Saying this is it. They're gonna crumble. We're gonna catch them. And like Robbie says, you did drop. Could have, could have fought to the end. Could have fought to the end, Still mate. A we beat. We, we, do it, we beat way. Villa at home when we had to, to keep just, up the momentum. Just. Yeah, you didn't. Cool. We beat Forest when we had to. We beat Bournemouth away when we had to. So you know, we at the end of the day, nil, it's all, it's all exactly for what. It says nine on. It says nine on the Saturday. You beat Bournemouth nine nil. Love a reference. Maybe that's why they put that on Bobby's boots as well. So it's all cute. He had a lovely testimonial. The sun was out. They was all singing and they was all crying at the end. It's lovely. Bro, Europa League but, ain't that bad. You still yeah, have you've got won six. It. What have you got? You've you got still, six. You can't won tell Europa me. League. We've won the Europa League before. Yeah, what in the what in the final yeah. last year? We've won the Europa League before. What was the score? No, we won it. We've won what, it. No, but what was the score last year? We won it in 2017. Seven years ago. What was the score in the final? But what my point is is that but you're Liverpool. You've got six Champions Leagues. You don't concern yourself. You don't concern yourself with Europe. You've got three Europa Leagues. You're the kings of Europe. Well, now you're not, mate. And and I've got. Do you know what? On United View. I've got a Europa League remix song. You can send me. And you can have it. Yeah, yeah, you can have, me and KG made it when we were down United, in the dumps yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and that you one. know it. United in Europa League. Yeah, Liverpool in a Europa League. Yeah. Me and KG might do your dub plate. So you want dub plate? Yeah, you I'll want AGT dub plate, dub plate, plate special? Dub dub plate. We're gonna, I'm going to give you a like Cop TV dub gigs. plate oh, yeah, for Europa, man, yeah? Next, and that's right. what we're going to do. Because okay, all of this well, is this over now. Mm. <laughs> Little speech I've done out. Winston Churchill said I think, I think, I think with, seven up. I think with Liverpool, it was always a thing where we can go on a run, we can go on and a run. Did. And they did, but they left it too late. And I think we did. That's I true think, as well. I think it's I think it's about time that Liverpool kind of have a little bit of a reset because it's Correct. been it's been a tiring season, last season going for the quadruple. Um and this season they didn't capitalise on what they almost achieved last year with the summer that they had. And they said, said that they had enough midfielders and they, you know, kind of relied on Van Dijk and Konate, injury prone players or players that have come back from a big injury. And it's kind of, it's kind of come back to, to bite them in the arse. So now FSG, need, they need to recruit. And seriously. I've said so many they need times, to bring this in some summer, players. right here, this transfer window is the most what, important what do, transfer what do you need? window. What do you need? Well, let me break it down for you. Six to nine players are leaving. Mm -hmm. potentially two goalkeepers as well. So we need a number two goalkeeper. We need a new centre-back. We need three midfielders. And potentially, if you're, if you're picky, you get a Bobby replacement. But we've got five strikers anyway. So there's fine. five yeah, players. Yeah, you don't need, you need. Not, not, not. Do you think you're going to get all those? 
Yeah. Because Bellingham was we'll the one five, that was, But I don't know if they're the five you, that we need. You're disappointed that they didn't go. I've moved because on you, you look, that, look at it. <laughs> I've moved you on. Had to. No, no, but you look at it. You, you think that Bellingham now in this team would be. <laughs> yeah, of course. In any team, he'd be. Yeah. He'd make it better. But can we get a McAllister over the line? Can we get a Kai Sado? Can we get a, a Kalor Navas who's happy to sit at number two because Kelleher and Adrian want games, which is fair play to them? I don't necessarily think we need a, a Bobby replacement, but in answer to your question, there's big, big, big decisions needed. Another decision, do you move Trent into midfield? Do you buy a new right back to cover him? These are all the decisions that have to be spot on. We've just confirmed our sporting director, which we haven't had for a year since Michael Edwards and Julian Ward left. So this summer is so important if we're to have any chance again next year. Him playing midfield is um, that's rev- it's something Why didn't we where do that twenty games. Yeah, but it's, it's the way he has to play it though, because if he has to just be a thoroughbred six, like and just be a central midfielder, that is different to when we've got the ball. Um, you can't do that against when, every team. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. When we haven't got the ball, you so can that, be that, a right back. That's why do, it's a big transition. decision. Do you yeah. go and buy a right you have back? To change the whole Calvin Ramsey has yeah. been injured the whole season. Exactly. Connor Bradley had a great season for Bolton. Can he come back? Okay. Mad decisions to make. Okay. Um, let me just, you know, I mean, because time's running, man. I don't know. We, could, we could see you know, it all Someone's done pissing <laughs> arsehole as usual. <laughs> we could you know what I mean? The time's are running. Yeah. Like, the question There's enough time, though, because he can't yeah. get away with it. So let's not, let's hurry up. Running out of time, are we? <laughs> <laughs> top, of the league, top of the league, obviously. <laughs> top of the league's been sorted. Uh, Man City are the champions. Um, huh? It's looking like we even know what the top four is going to be. Um, but who's going to get relegated? Everton, 33 points. Leeds, 31 points. Leicester, 30 points. They play tonight, but they've got Newcastle away. Um, we know that Nottingham Forest are safe. We know Chelsea are safe now we as got well. Forest, man. Um, <laughs> yeah. You didn't even hear that one. Um, but Chelsea are safe. We know West Ham are safe. <laughs> Who is going to go down? I mean, yeah. this, this is really intriguing. Everton. They've got a last-minute draw, Yerry Mina. Wow. Um, yeah. Getting a last-minute, was... very important mm. point um, away at Wolves at the weekend. And uh, Leeds, I thought they were very poor yesterday. I watched their game. Started off well, yeah. great goal by Rodrigo, but getting beaten 3-1 by, you know, kind of a weakened West Ham team. Oh, Everton got and Bournemouth back, as well. If you yeah. look at the last games to see and their record against Bournemouth, yeah, is Everton atrocious. got Bournemouth, Bournemouth on the beach. If Leeds win, they go, they stay up. Yeah, but that's Bournemouth. Yeah, but I think Everton will win as well. Everton have got Bournemouth at home, isn't it? Yeah, yeah Everton, Everton got Bournemouth at home. Yeah. Leeds got Spurs really at home. Yeah, yeah. Leicester got wet. Leicester. Here's the, my thing: is this? I think Leicester are done because if they, I mean, they if got they, Newcastle away because tonight. they've got a Newcastle away tonight, they need to they need to get something out of that. If if not, win. And they ain't gonna. They, yeah. They ain't Them George, Matty Renton's gonna be in there naked. Yeah. <laughs> Not just top off. I know that's a mad sight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Matty. Oh, yeah. Blood. But Matty's gonna be doing a madness. Yeah. yeah. Windmill. I'm just thinking. <laughs> I'm I mean, thinking so of him with big blonde thing, hair with just no clothes it's, on it's, in the Gallagher end. It's not even yeah? like an on-the-beach <laughs> game for Newcastle. No, they need one more point. One more point to secure. Yeah. Anyone who was going to, even if it was Man City today, I'll be like, it's tight, they'll get yeah, that point. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're going to run up on Leicester. Mm-hmm. And Leicester will just be done and dusted. I mean, and they've got West Ham. If Leicester lose tonight, they're, that's they're done. nearly done. So, Lee, and it's the, Lee, it's the Leeds-Everton one you're looking yeah. at as yeah. the two. And I just think Everton at home to Bournemouth Last game, yeah, fans behind on the it's, beach. It's going crazy. Bournemouth are a bit off yeah, it right think, now. Yeah, yeah. I think Sean Dice gets that done, or at least gets a draw. Yeah. They don't lose. I think Everton, and I think, be. and I think <laughs> Leeds probably will beat Tottenham. They're crap. Yeah. As we've said, but I think Leeds might, will be too, too, too late. It'll be too By the way, can late. I just say, all the games uh, for the last game season on Sunday, there is no Saturday football show. It's a Sunday football show. All 4.30 kickoffs. Right? This 30 Sunday, the drama that could ensue, I mean, again, top four league is, is done, but these three teams here, you've got to watch the Sunday football show because it's going to be an absolute belter and Everton could go down. OK, let me just, a um, <laughs> couple of super chats and then we'll get a word on Chelsea because we haven't had oh, that. Yeah, more yeah. than a word. Uh, Niall says, uh, like the show, was wondering if you're going to be showing the Rugby World Cup. That's coming up as well. All right, that's another one to consider. Foggy Foam Is says, uh, this guy, FFS, didn't get some last night. I think he's on about you, Matisse. Not, weren't happy about what you were saying did. earlier. Uh, <laughs> Lignes KTG uh, says we need the old Arsenal versus United title going for the title again. Right? So mm-hmm. Far off, far that off. Point, that, mate. Know, with man. City around, yeah. they're always going to be involved. Um, Game Fanatic says, "Hey Robbie, random banner, but Ole and Mourinho both uh, second, and then got sacked next season. Big show though." Um, ooh. And uh, Cabbage says, uh, "Deflex." He's calling you Deflex. 
Because I'm deflecting. Deflection. Yeah. What am I deflecting? I don't from? think you really deflect too no. much. Chelsea. Yes. Is you man are pants. <laughs> Shite. 36 games gone. Shite. 43 points. Shite. Yesterday. Mm. I mean, I know it's... It, it must be hard to get up for a game like that. I, I, I hear that because they had no playing chance. against no chance. you're playing against the champions. They're in a party mood and everything like that. But yeah. they did put out their second team. Yeah. And yeah. still, there was nothing. So from did Chelsea, Chelsea though. Hit the post are you are you, are you worried that are you worried that <sighs> there will be no major improvement? To, to be honest, when you look at the XG, we actually slightly outperformed. I saw. I watched the highlights. Like, actually, we actually had chances, yeah, yeah. but yeah. The, the, it's the same when every time we play City this season. Sometimes we get battered, and sometimes sometimes we actually compete. But when we do compete, they still score, and we don't. So normal normal service resumes. Like yeah, they were playing their. Um, Second string in, in some key positions. Palmer comes in, Rico Lewis comes in. But these are good players. Very and I'm not good. surprised that they that they bopped it around us. Like they're still they're still being coached by Pep. Um well, we put out a few, you know, Aspilaquetas, Rubens, but ah, it's it is what it is. Like the season's done for us. I've I've checked out a long time ago. I'm just waiting for next season when, when it all starts all over again. And I think sooner Poch comes in the better. Like Lampard is just this guy can't manage in this league again. I know there's there's privilege and then this is just crazy. Like this guy cannot be working in this league. He's not good enough. He's not good enough. Like Harry can't keep picking up the phone and getting him jobs. It's not good enough. He needs to be on CBS with Mika Richards and with Carragher having the bands. Has he even got vibes like laugh. that? Yeah, probably, no, probably, probably not. wouldn't even go on Yeah, no, 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 no. It's more football <laughs> focus. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. Yeah. He's not got vibes. <laughs> no, no, he can't what do, what do you, what do you, What's your expectation next season? Champions League qualification and try and win a cup. Need to try and win a cup here. Yeah. I, I need to see trophies, man. Like, the thing is, similar to what Ten Hag's done at United is kind of what I'm looking for from Poch. Because yes, yes, we, yeah. we've lost five Wembley Cup finals in a row, I think, something like that. We need to stop that. That needs to end. So perfect time to end it would be with Pochettino, who some, everyone kind of calls him a bottler. Get that out of the way, win a trophy and get into the top, into the top, um, top, top four. Um, or if it's top five for coefficient points. But yeah, we need to be in the Champions League minimum. Chelsea, it, you want to cook Matisse, it's but to, to, see, to be though, honest, I can't lie. to be honest, yeah, to be honest, you, we actually have run out of expletives. We've run out of words. Do you, do you agree with what I said earlier that I what? think pound for pound, well, absolutely, they're the absolutely. worst team in Europe. Absolutely. That's a yeah, great shout. You can't spend shout. 600 mil and, there's, there's and, no, and that's that your is. output. You, that, that's not enough. That, that Who is, else is there? That's a it's, fact. It's, yeah. the, only, the, only, the only way you can, you can get away with that is being deducted points. And even Juventus were deducted points and still came back. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. No, they, they're in the Champions League. They got the points back didn't they? Oh, yeah, they got the points back. But even when even when they got deducted the points and they weren't giving them back, they still had more points than us. They still had more points than us. Still got more points. When they got deducted, they still had more points. So, yeah, so, no, so no. Chelsea, Chelsea, we've been look, we've been laughing at Matisse every single have we enough game though? week. Um, I, I think. Right. Well, what? How much more? That's can up we for laugh? you guys what, to decide. What more can we say? I've like, been here. You spent six hundred <laughs> million. Yeah, we don't like you're crap this year. It's been said Awful. over and over and over. Oh, and like you just, and you can't ooh that like anymore. And what like, I look at, like, like Todd Miller, big up Todd Miller, Chelsea contributes, fan. big Chelsea fan. Say, same amount of trophies as Arsenal, but I, I just think. People look at me about deflect. I look at it and think, bro, there's big problems at Chelsea. Huge. I, I, I'm not too sure if just bringing in Pochettino is going to... I mean, no, of course it won't. even if you look at the summer coming, there's a lot of players that have to go. Mm. He's got to make I mean, so is many Mason Mount going to go? I mean, what, what, how many players do you think they're going to have to let go? It's over 10. Double, te double figures, yeah. yeah it's over 10. Needs to be... 15 maybe do you think they'll all go though because nah, you're talking be... about a lot of players on big wages and not all the, all the players I want to go it's not possible for them to get rid of all of them because yeah. I Which, want a lot of players yeah, so who do you want to go I would get rid of Loftus Cheek seems like he's on his way out Lukaku. although Lukaku has to go Aubameyang has to go Ziyech Pulisic Hudson Odoi nah I'd leave Sterling um, he just literally just Aspie. signed last year Aspie needs to go um, Mendy Gallagher. Mendy Kepa no problem with that. So both, both, goal, keepers. both keepers. Yeah. I'm cool with that, yeah. yeah. Promote um, Stellino, who's, who's in the under-20 yeah. World Cup with the right. US. We got him last summer. The and and buy a new goalkeeper. The financial um, L's here. Aren't so, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of players that need to go. There's a lot of players that need to go. But Those are some big will, players. Will they all go? You've missed out some Unlikely. as well. Yeah, Gallagher. The ones that are out on loan as well at the minute. Oh, I've mm. gone through it. Uh, what about like Brozier and that? No, Brozier's come back from ACL. I actually like Brozier. Oh, yeah, he came back. I actually like Brozier. Kulabali? Yeah. Where's Livermento? He come back from long injury. No, he's a Southampton For signed. The oh, was he? Guy? Did he go there That's true. Put me a loan deal. Hmm? So Koulibaly, you let go as well? Levi yeah. Colwell's coming. I need to see him in the team. Chalaba? 
I, I'm fine with Chalobah to stay. Really? I like Chalobah. Really? He's, a, he's, a squad, he's a squad player. He's, he's, he's a, he's a, he's a back, backup player. I think he's leaving as well. <sighs> I think he's leaving. We've named yeah. what, 11, 12? I'll have him all yeah, day. I think he's leaving. Mate. Kante? He, he, I, 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 I've been saying giving him a new deal I think is, is, is pointless. He's injured again. But people, he's injured again. people will tell me, yes, when he plays, yeah, he's, he's, wicked, one of the, what, he's one of the world's best. But if you're playing six, seven games a season, yeah. what is that really true? Two Go oh God, go on, get go him, go. get get him gone. How many yes, literally, literally, get yeah. him gone. How many plays like here? Modric, Madueke, now we can't. Nah, nah, we keep Fofana. No, 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 no. Those, the, you know those are all new, right? We oh wait, it, no, what's my man? Guys. The tall centre mid. Zakaria. He's on loan. He's on he's going back anyway. That was only on loan. Yeah, Juventus. Point in that, then? Don't know why. Don't like <laughs> some fifteen-year-old as well from Brazil. Felix, Colombia, Colombia. Felix, Felix. No, Ecuador, no, Ecuador, sorry, Ecuador. That's Felix. 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 That's a loan deal as well. Would you have him making permanent? I wouldn't sign him for seventy million. Is what they're asking for. No, I wouldn't he's sign wicked. him for that. He's wicked. Kihei Spor. I wouldn't he's sign wicked. him for that. I do you like say Felix. He's wicked, but he scored but one goal. Yeah, because Chelsea. Ch fucking hell, mate. <laughs> Who's gonna score? We got. Remember, we got. Remember, we got. We got in coming in. Oh yeah, you got him. And Marlo Gusto from Leon. So yeah. I, I would, more. I would, I would, I would pay 70 million for Felix. There's, there's, the big, there's more important priorities. The How are they going to get rid of all those players you just named? There's no way they're going to be able to get rid it's of all It's going to be a fun us. transfer window for me. You're going to be I want every day so yard sale. You know lemonade stand? Lemonade stand? <laughs> yeah. I want I want to hear every day somebody Bring leaving, packing their Peter. bags. You know FIFA, you just keep <laughs> letting them exit. You know with KG with his career mode, exit. Enough, man. Out you yeah, go, yeah, out the door, out the door, out the door. That's what I need. O'Malley says, Ma, this is what... What American ownership feels like. Um, is it? Lil Yo Yo said, Don Robbie, you need to build a shield to visually show us how you deflect all the <laughs> arsehole shots. Um, and uh, Lee Collison says, Can someone on the show remind me how many points Manchester United, Arsenal, Liverpool, and Chelsea took off Brighton this season? But we took three. We took off. one. Yeah. We took none. We, took we, did beat you. we did beat Brighton four by, you know, put four past you at the Amex. Yeah, and that was the Zerbi's first game as well, wasn't it? That. Was that his first game? Mm. First home game. Like Mario. But, but we uh, beat them in the FA Cup final when we had to, when it mattered, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, listen, we reached the end of the show today, and it's been, a, it's been a really, really interesting one. Of course, next week's show will be the last one yeah, of the man. season. Maybe we should, um, on that show, talk about who's the, you know, uh, our player of the seasons, team of the seasons. Mm. Maybe do a. Oh maybe, yeah, definitely. We do yeah, like maybe, a season review. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we do a, flops um, of the year. Yeah, you know what I mean. Flops would be all Chelsea players, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done that segment. Um, <laughs> Whatever else is next year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I think we, we'll get busy <laughs> with that on next week's show. It's going to be a really interesting show. But listen, thanks for everybody for being involved today. Wait, sorry, just really quickly. A lot of people saying it there, just the Vinicius Junior situation. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. sorry, yes, yes. sorry. Because yeah, 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 yeah. we that have to speak about that. Very angry. Of course, if if you if you don't know the situation with Vinicius Jr. Of course, Vinicius Jr., who plays for Real Madrid, probably should be the pin-up boy. Best player for, in the league. Yeah, best player in the league in La Liga. Yep. Yet still, yesterday... Uh, the world. Disgraceful, man. Yesterday, he was come under some heavy racial abuse. Not the first time. Happened quite a few times mm. this season. This time against Valencia. Um, Carlo Ancelotti even said that the game should have been called off. The game, they stopped it momentarily. There was one point where Vinicius Jr. was even like pointing at someone in the crowd, mm -hmm. an animated, really That's angry. the level it's got to. Right, I point, mean... Name and shame now. But still, La Liga don't seem to it's be... A it's a disgrace. Really the commentator doing said much he's about bringing it. this on himself. They, right. But they keep saying that. They keep saying he's teasing them. He's bringing it on them. He's bringing it on himself. I've heard about, oh, the way he celebrates, the way he does the rainbow flick, he's taunting the fans. Absolute disgrace of a situation. Would they say that if it was Messi? Of course they Listen, would. Listen, it's a disgrace. What they should be doing, forget trying to point out individuals, ban the entire home attendance. No yeah. home attendance next game. Points deduction, Points deduction. and yeah. massive fines on the club. You police yourselves. Mm. After we put those uh, those, those sanctions in place, those serious sanctions, not these hashtags and these little, you know, emojis, you know, of all the different, no, actual sanctions now. I want to see no home attendance, just the away fans. You yeah. play your next home game, we're not, you're not, you're not no, allowed to stay. Then, then they'll police themselves fans, yeah. because then yeah. anytime there's, there's chance, They'll they'll kick them they'll kick their own fans out. They'll say, listen, exactly. get out because we're not taking a points deduction that would could potentially lead to a relegation yeah. because of you. So exactly. they'll start policing themselves. That's I mean, all Lionel Messi needs to do. He was, he was sent off in the game for violent conduct. He it's like disgrace. He's probably he's angry from from lost his yeah, head right. in the end. Like he, 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 he put on yeah he put on his um, Instagram. He goes the championship once belonged to Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, and Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. and Messi. 
to date belongs to racists. Yeah. That's what he wrote. Facts. Unfortunately, Spain is a country entrenched in deep, deep, deep racism. Yeah. Well, to I, me, to me, I mean, I heard your suggestion. Do you know what? Do you know what? And I, I said this. We we did a Bias Premier League show on AFTV, and I said this right. I go, all the obviously La Liga as a product, right, is shown all around the world, and there's a lot of fans, say, for instance, in Africa, who love. Barcelona, love Real Madrid, love all these various teams in La Liga. Maybe it takes for some of these countries to just say, you know what, boycott. To you lot, sort you, even if it's for one or two games, we're boycotting La Liga. We're not, we're not going to sh show it. We're not going to, you know. And then that will get the league because I don't think the it, league it itself directly is serious. 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. That will, that will focus their mind when they start to see that they could lose. I mean, they're already worried about the Premier League and stuff like that. When they start to see those effects on their league, maybe yep. they'll take action because, you know, I always go back to the Super League, right, over in this country when they were, you know, they were going to be saying to players, if you play in the Super League, you won't be able to play for your country. And that was, the Super League was not the decision yeah. of the players. Yeah. And they were going to do that. If they need to take harsh sanctions, they can do. They just but let's be real. They, they don't choose care. not to do it. What, what, what they was don't really, care, that's why. What was really sickening for me was the statement from Valencia. I thought that was absolutely... I didn't even see that it statement. Was it was so much disgusting. statements what they, what, they were, what they were afraid to do was call out their own. And what they, what they did was was go through with a fine tooth comb what Don Carlo was basically saying. Because he basically said all their fans, basically mm. he was insinuating. What they were fixated on is that one bit where he's saying, where they're saying, look, it's not all of our fans. And, you know, um, basically, basically not coming straight out and saying we'll do our thing because um, we'll do our investigation because, um, you know, there's, there's an alleged, uh, you know, personal attack on Vin Vinny Jr. Not saying the word racist and just, just trying to refrain mm. from what the situation truly is. La Liga did a similar statement. I saw that this well, morning Well, yeah, the La Liga well. statement on Twitter, well, it was from the La Liga president. Yeah. Um, Should be sacked. And he said, um, the Liga president, Javier Tebas said, uh, Vinicius twice did not turn up for a meeting to discuss what, um, what can be done. Um, Why is it always on the black players and, he goes, and people so, who are... Bit, sorry, just... He, he goes, he goes on to off, say, man. before you criticise and slander La Liga, you need to inform yourself properly. So because he's it's not turned bullshit. up for two meetings now, it's your fault that you're getting... You're the best player in the league. Do you know what? Now. Do you know what, Robbie? The best. Imagine what the worst players are getting. Robbie, do you Imagine know what? Imagine the players playing... Are they, are players they, are, are they, having are a bad stupid? time. Are Robbie, stupid? Robbie, do you know what? Do you know what? Here's, here's, the, here's the thing, yeah? Here's, I've just come up with sanctions. Here, here's the thing. What does Vinicius thing. need to go and to this, a this isn't, this isn't even just to do with racism, yeah? This is to do with any marginalised group trying to fight being oppressed within what they're being oppressed in. Whether your fight is... Um, you know, which we should all be fighting for these things, anti-Semitism, people who um, are derogatory or fighting for dis disabilities, whether you're fighting xenophobia, whatever, whatever it is your fight is, the, the, the emphasis is always put on to the victims. Yeah. What, what can, what, 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 right, come here, what can you do? Right. How, why is it the people in power and the people that are in the majority to, that can stop these things? The, the people, yeah, yeah, yeah. The people yeah. who are not oppressed, the people yeah. who are privileged, the people who don't have to be persecuted every single day mm. for being gay or for being um, um, of a certain um, ethnic background or for being a certain religion. Mm. Why, is it not, why is it not those people that are the ones who are held accountable who need to come to the table and say, we need to help this. We, we're the majority. It's always put on to Vinicius, you were late to help tell us what to do. But, but, it's but, bullshit. But, but, it always happens. He, he doesn't need to show up to the meeting simply because there's nothing to say. Yeah. That is my, that is my, that is my point. There's nothing to say. There's nothing that needs to be said in any sort of meeting, in any, any sort of conference call. Oh, say what? Have we not been dealing with racism for how many years? Over, over time, you should know what you need to do. It's not a conversation that needs to take place. And he said that in his, re in his response. Yeah. He said, I'm not your friend. We don't, we don't need to yeah. talk. Here, you need to have here, action. Valencia, Simple Valencia, as that. Let Valencia. him, there's nothing let, else to let, be said. Let Vinicius Jr., yeah, do something, or a player, mm. do something that's against like the monarchy of, like, 
yeah. something against Spain. Mm. Like, you know when players start getting a bit political and yeah, it's like yeah. against then, the country? No, then, they, they won't oh, call, they won't call man, for a ban, no, no meeting, ban immediately. instant sanctions. Yeah, yeah. I just seen Ivan Tony yeah. get banned for eight months Why didn't for he? betting. Mm. Cool, you need a no sanction. Problem. No but problem. When, it comes to the, when it comes to serious societal issues, yeah, yeah mm. It's, it's like the sanctions are nowhere to be seen because mm. it doesn't directly affect these Valen institutions. Valencia, by the way, they, they said it was an isolated incident. See what I'm saying? Right? Yeah, read but, out their statement. Is that, the, you got their the, statement there. The Real Madrid um, goalkeeper, uh, Thibaut Courtois, said he heard monkey noises after 20 minutes. Um, you know, and, and this is, and also, this is the 10th time, Bro, the 10th every incident single week. that's happened to Vinicius Jr. And as I said, we're talking about that's a guy, fault. we're talking about a guy who's. The Fixed best player. player. He should be the pin-up for La Liga. 100%. He should be the pin-up boy. He should be the face, for... face of La Liga. Exactly. He should be the face of La Liga, right? But yet still, he's having to get racially abused, game in, game out, and they're not doing anything about it. But here's you the know? thing, though, Robbie. Here's the thing, though. I, heard, I saw some people sort of saying he should just come Premier League. Listen, obviously, it's not as bad as what we're seeing there. Mm. That's not happening. Let's not... Like, we've got our own issues. Yep. Italy, they've got their own issues. Mm. This is, let, don't let this be tricked to think this is just Spain. Mm. This is the most highlighted incident yeah. and actually the most common. But the, one thing I would, the one thing I would say in the Premier League, right, is that, that wouldn't happen if someone's like there making a monkey noise now that ain't, that right, ain't and, and they see them on the they get their bands, yeah, that's they're not done. Running. That's not running. Right? Like that. Whereas in these countries, they, they, they just take it lightly. You can see by, you know, the president of La Liga say he didn't turn up for a meeting. Right, that is a meeting about putting it on what? him. Putting it on him. And He's the victim. You, though. That shows you from the top level downwards. They don't they care. They don't care. You yeah. don't or care. they're ignorant to the, the guy, to the raging the guy, problem. The guy was basically crying on the pitch. Bro, yeah. That's like in 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 criminal. In, this is, this is a criminal offence. But when you have things like, um, like uh, domestic um, violence and things like that, where where victims don't want to speak, yeah. You know how hard it is for somebody to come and, and speak about what they've been through? You know how brave you have to be to be able to do that? He's front line in front of 70,000 fans. Mm. He's looking up in the sky. He's pointing to he's, you. He, that's you know the I'm person saying? that's doing it. But that's not enough. You, you, you want to subject more. him to... Yeah. Exactly, you want more. And and Carlo, Carlo, Carlo Ancelotti, well. the Real Madrid manager, respected manager from World Football said, what we saw today was unacceptable. An entire stadium chanting racist slurs. I don't want to talk about football today. There is no meaning in talking about football today. I told the referee he should have stopped the match. La Liga has a problem. This is, this is Ancelotti, go. their best manager. He says, that La Liga has a problem for me. Vinicius is the most important player in the world. These episodes of racism have to stop the match. There's no consequences to the actions. No. That's no. why I said points deduction. Club and the fans are one, right? So the club doesn't want to, Valencia want to release a statement. They don't want to police their own fans. They don't want to police themselves in the crowd. They want to let their friends or their, 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 their people do things like that. Then just sanction the whole club and then they'll figure it out for themselves. But that, that relies upon La Liga actually getting a grip and understanding that this is a situation that can't keep carrying on. Obviously, they don't seem to see that. That president shouldn't be in a job. No. Look at the Lukaku that one in Italy. Not, yeah, look at Lukaku. He got given a yellow card for cupping his ears miles mm. away from the fans that had been racially... For racially, instigating. Can you, can you, can you imagine it? doing that and like, saying, that, oh, you're instigating? It. Like, it's mad. Like, it's like, it's crazy. It's about? Our crazy. mind cracker says Vinicius will be starting left winger at any team. Of course he will. Would love him at Man United. He deserves better. Some team should bring him to the Prem. And CNYAC24 says, big, Ma big up Ma on the panel. Racism is a worldwide pandemic um, that will never end. Let's not fool ourselves. Damage their wallets and incidents like this will go down. And I, I agree with that. Yeah. Right? In football, every time you hit clubs with where it hurts, which is financially. That's what the Super League yeah. was. It was That's hitting all the clubs. All yeah. of a sudden. It was hitting all the UEFA, hitting all, all three. They were like, no, we can't have yeah, this. You see tough sanctions starting to come in. All of a sudden, I think they need to hit them in the pocket, or you know, people need to start boycotting these things. But listen, it's sorry to have to end on such it's a, important, no, we such have a to horrible that, subject, man. but it's a very, know. very important subject. But we've come to the end of the show today. Yes, Flix, big up, um, big up yourself, big up, AGT, Rob, Matisse, up. one to go next week. The <sighs> final game of the uh, season. We'll find out who stays in the Premier League, but we do know who the champions are, and it's uh, them lot. Oh, putting on there. It's it's putting at the bigger it's not, it's, not it's, them not, it's not them it's lot, not mate. Them yeah. lot. <laughs> them lot. Them lot. See you later. Don't forget to get your tickets for the Invincible Podcast live with our audience. That's on Tuesday, May the 23rd at the Islington Assembly Hall, Rob. Not at the Emirates. 
Not at the Emirates. I'm going to be here. Lee's going to be here. Loads of us going to be here. Ty's going to be there, isn't it? Oh, uh, well, if you want to miss him, get there early. <laughs> Make sure you check it out, right? We're going to have lots of fun on the night and we're going to be announcing our player of the season. Get your tickets now by just clicking a link in the description below. I don't necessarily think we need a, a Bobby replacement, but in answer to your question, there's big, big, big decisions needed. Another decision, do you move Trent into midfield? Do you buy a new right back to cover him? These are all the decisions that have to be spot on. We've just confirmed our sporting director, which we haven't had for a year since Mike Ledwood's and Julian Ward left. So this summer is so important if we're to have any chance again next year.